it's Tybug, and welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned last Sims episode, I'm starting a new series. So this is going to be Realms of Magic. It was my most requested one when I asked you guys if I should start a new series. So I took almost this entire week to make this whole save file. So let's, I'll show you guys everything about this family. So the first it's character we now. have is Estella Ames. I designed everything about her. I like did the detail editing and oh, it took so long, but I'm so proud of her. So this is who she is. This is her winter outfit actually, I think. Okay, here's her everyday outfit. So a nice little purple moment. Look at that eyeshadow. She's so pretty. I love her. Ah, she's so cute. And she's a magician. Okay, so her aspiration is spellcraft and sorcery. And she craves a deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts. Then on top of that, she is a quick learner. She is ambitious, self-assured, and mean. So for this series, I figured I would give them more of like a story, a backstory, and like just things about them. So Estella is really motivated and really confident in herself, but she can get jealous easily. I didn't want to do the envy one because I didn't feel like that fit her. Ah. So she uses her magical abilities not always for the good of others. She uses it for the good of herself, <laughs> if that makes sense. She can be kind of catty, like a little bit mean, you know, like the little side eye. I mean, she's like, not like mean mean, but she's like kind of mean. Okay, so this is her everyday outfit. Then she has two everyday outfits. This is her other one, a nice red moment. I made them very like very magical looking in my opinion like modern day coven witches so that's one and two then her uh formal outfit she looks like she's going to a coven meeting she's about to put all those elder witches in their places be like i run the show now her sporty look just very casual ray look oh by the way she has a tattoo you'll see that soon but I, I love her so much. <laughs> Here's her night outfit. Very casual. Got her, I love, I love her white hair. Rocking the white hair. It looks so good. Her party outfit. Look at, we got the gems. Showing off her witchiness. Her crystal, it like enhances her magical abilities. And just like, so chic. Then her swim outfit, just very casual, very slim. Her hot weather outfit, I had a hard time with this one because I didn't really feel like anything fit her. Here's her tattoo, it's a little poison, kind of like hinting to her magical tendencies. <laughs> but yeah, this is her hot weather outfit and then her winter outfit. This is very much the style right now, I feel. It's like the brown puffer jacket, the turtleneck. It's, this is just Estella. I love her. And then, her brother. We have Lucian Ames. Originally, I was going to make them like adopted family, but then I was like, why not? Why not just have biological family? So this is Lucian. I love his name. I actually randomly generated that in like a witch name generator. So he is a, a purveyor of potions. He wants to learn every potion recipe and craft each one. And with that, he's a collector. He likes rare items. Then he's a goofball. He's family oriented and he loves outdoors. So Lucian's story is like, I, it, I personally just call him my little flower boy because I want him to be very outdoor oriented. Like he works with potions and herbs a lot. Kind of think of him like Neville, Neville Longbottom. So this is my flower boy. <laughs> just call him flower boy. So yeah, he's very nice. He loves his sister and his family. I didn't make their parents yet, but like he's very family oriented. He like wants to take care of his family. He feels kind of responsible for them because like Estella isn't the nicest of person. So he's always running around making things right for her and like offering flowers to be like, sorry about my sister. <laughs> 
that's Lucian. I I I sculpted his face to the gods. I I spent so long staring at these two siblings' faces. Okay, so now for his outfit. That's his first outfit. Here's his second outfit. Ooh, look at those arms. Yes, he's very a uh, he's a very nice person. But like he can be goofy. Look at the goofball trait. He he can find fun and enjoyment in things like. That's why Estella's uh, personality doesn't really get to him because he kind of just brushes it off. He's like, oh, that's just how it is. I'll make light of it. Okay, that's his second outfit. And he has the magnifying crystal. I know that's not like necessarily what it is, but that's what we're going to make it. Then his uh, business outfit. This is what he shows up to the coven meetings in. Little uh, wizardy, uh, vampire-y. He kind of just, uh, he lets Estella do all the talking, but he's like, in the background, and all the other witches and wizards are like, <laughs> Lucian, control your sister. Then his sporty outfit, he's not really that much of like a, a runner or a weightlifter, he's kind of just like, you know those people who are just naturally gifted? He's kind of like that, and he kind of just does whatever he wants and like gets sculpted up suddenly. Here's his sleep outfit. This is his uh, very nerdy kind of outfit. This is kind of like more of an inside look into what Lucian's really about. His party outfit. I mean, he's stunting. They they come from old money. And then this is his... <laughs> I, I saw this in the outfits and I was like... <laughs> I thought it was perfect for him. It kind of is giving me Aquaman vibes, but like... If he goes into the water, he's gonna be looking at all the 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 coral and like the seaweed and like oh I wonder what potions I can make with this. So like he'll get tangled up and stuff. Hot weather, <laughs> very casual, very islandy. I mean he's going out to garden, so he needs something that he can breathe in. And then cold weather, kind of similar to Estella. He's got the brown jacket moment, but like cool. Then I added a cat because every every witch and wizard needs a cat. So this is Gemini, Gemini Ames. I was going to go with the black cat, but I saw this and I was like, it matches the Ames aesthetic perfectly. So I made him a prowler, frisky and curious. I don't really know what all of that means for a cat, but that's what he is. So this is the Ames family. Estella Ames. Lucian Ames and Gemini Ames. Then for their house, I did actually use cheats to uh, do the house because I wanted them to have like a nice starting house, very witchy looking. So um, I actually got a house off of the gallery. This lot was designed by Jeffy Cake 99 and original Yoda 65. So this is the lot. It's a, a 30 by 20, and I think two bedrooms, two bathrooms. So I redesigned the inside and outside of the lot to match the Ames's family. So I added in a fountain, I added in some trees. Look at this pool I did. I even put in a whole little cat tree for Gemini, flower garden for uh, Lucian. Then the house, first floor we got a little living area, actually a table for them to eat, a, a very sleek kitchen. I didn't change this level too much. I think this is basically what they had already. I uh, added some stuff for the cat, obviously. Then upstairs we have Estella's room. Purple is her color. Um, then her book so she can get knowledge and then just like charts about like wizarding stuff and then next door we have Lucian's room very green a whole bunch of plants and stuff for him to uh, tend to and just like get that that earthy feeling then there's the bathroom I didn't change anything about the bathroom it's just a basic tub and toilet and all that and Lucian actually has a little balcony just so he can get some fresh air my flower boy. <laughs> then in the basement, we have their witch and wizard room. I completely changed this from what they originally had in the lot, because before it was like an art studio. So I added in some plants, I added in some like 
tree of life kind of thing. A shelf with, like, their wands, their potions and stuff. A whole gem fireplace, a, 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 a book, potions, table. That's for uh, Gemini and everything. And that's, this is, this is their house. I, I can't wait to play. I spent so long building all of this, so I'm so excited to actually get started. <gasps> it's time! Okay, what is the first thing we should do as a traffic to the, travel to the magic realm? How, how, okay, I have to go to the magic realm. Bye, Lucian. How do I get there? Oh, this is going to be hard managing two sims. I already know it. Okay, maybe we can just go down to the basement and do something. What's this? Cook mac and cheese? Go experiment, Lucian. And Estella, why don't we go upstairs and read a book? We're gonna read... A, a World Without Magic. Go read that. Where's Lucian? What are you doing? Experimenting. Huh. What's gonna happen? What do I have to do for you? Travel to the magical realm. I don't know how to get to the magical realm. And I guess he should get a job. Everyone should get a job. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, that's how they can travel to the, oh my lord. We're traveled to the magical realm. That's enough experimenting, Lucian. Let's deal with our flower boy first. Here we go. Whoa! We're in the magical realm. <laughs> oh! Another wizard! <gasps> he just did that! Where, what do we do here? <gasps> Morgan! Morgan! Go introduce yourself! Wait, where's my wand? I want a wand. How do I get a wand? Sage of Untamed Magic. Sage of Practice Magic. Practical Magic. Teach me, teach me, teach me about magic. Ask to teach Untamed Magic. Ask for right of death. I don't know what all of this is. Ask to teach Potion Recipe. Oh, I love that. Teach me a potion recipe, dude. He's like, oh, yeah, sure, I guess. I got it. Lucian has been taught a new potion recipe. Oh my god. There's a whole spell book. Practical magic, mischief mat. Oh, that's perfect for Estella. Repair. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool! Practical ma- Mischief magic? Oh, 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 Okay, so he wants to be- he'll- he'll be our alchemist. Wow. Teach me more! Teach me more! Teach me some untamed magic. Why do you keep disappearing when I ask for magic? <gasps> Whoa! Okay, where's my wand? How do I do it? How do I har harness the magical energy, though? I, I, I understand nothing. I don't know what a rite of dissolution is, but I'm going to ask for it. I don't know what that is. Reach spellcaster rank 2, own a cauldron. Okay, we have a cauldron. No three different potions. Are, oh no, cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, so you could stop being a spellcaster? <laughs> yeah. Yay, a new potion! Potion of the Nimbo Mine. So we need parsley, spotted dirt, frog. Where do I get this stuff? Turquoise and valerian root. Is there like a, a magic store? Okay, Lucian, you should go 
garden. Purchase seeds. Okay, so we don't want catnip. Starter herbs would probably be good. Starter magical plants. Let's go to the magical realm. Your pull is raw. We're going to flirt and learn mischief magic. Okay, we'll make really good friends with the mischief wizard, but not good friends with everyone else. <laughs> Let's do a friendly introduction. Bye bye, bye bye. Estella has no time for y'all. Oh, is he coming to us? Yes, queen. Get the sages to come talk to you. How, 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 how strong. She just like has natural talent. Okay, now we can get some magic. Ask for some potion recipes. Ask to teach practical magic. Hurry up. Yeah. Oh, here she is. I need you. We're gonna be funny with her. Yes. We're gonna be best friends. You and me. You and me. I'll use the body too. There we are. Best friends, the best of friends. Me and my mischief girl. Oh, she's gonna be a prodigy. I love her. She's gonna be so good. She she's doing free hand magic. She doesn't need a wand. Wand schmond. She's strong enough to do it without a wand. Oh, she's so good. I, I I'm so proud of her. Oh, she has a talent point. Okay, so what she, what can we use it on? Knowledge is magic. Sim reads and does computer research at a faster rate. These interactions also provide magical experience over time. Blender arm. Discharge. The Sim can now cast Discharge, which empties Spellcaster Charge. I don't know what that means. Incredible Forager. Experimenter. Gains faster with less failures. I, I don't know. Okay, well, she wants to be knowledgeable, so let's do that. Everyone's asleep, everyone's sleeping happily. Lucian, you're up. Okay, go make food for everyone. Okay, we'll put that in the fridge for Estella. Oh, Estella's up. Go get some food, Estella. Oh, you're gonna cook? I had Lucian make you a nice meal. How dare you? And you, oh, you even made eggs and toast as well. How dare you? Why are you just eating peas, Estella? I hate you. <laughs> can we be... Oh, we can pull, do magic? Find his pet as familiar. This is your familiar. <gasps> Did it work? Uh -huh. We're oh, a... Yeah. <laughs> cool. What does that mean, though? What does that do? We should join a career. And you too, Lucian. A gardener? Does he want to be a gardener? $20 an hour. $14 an hour. Okay, he'll be a gardener. Wait, was that for Lucian or... Yeah. Should Lucian aims get his... Yes. Go ahead. Then what do you want to do? You need to get a career. Work in 20 hours. Okay, he doesn't have work every day. Okay. Oh, she should be a businesswoman. Oh, that would be so fun. Or a criminal. No, 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 she's gonna be, she's not gonna be overt with her, like, evilness. She's just gonna be, like, our secret agent? <gasps> that would be so cool. I mean, she would only work, wait, which days does she work? Saturday and Sunday or all of the days? I didn't, I did, a style influencer? Oh, she could be so many things. No, she should, I think she should be a business person. Business. Okay, so everyone's getting ready for their job. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. So I introduced you guys to Estella, Lucian, and Gemini. I got started with doing their wizarding stuff. They got a job, so everything is all set up for the whole series. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below at anything you want to comment about. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.